From ABC News Now, Healthy Living. A group of baby boomer women from Houston, Texas, will attempt to climb the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, which looms 19,340 feet above Tanzania. Each of these women have faced major life challenges, and many continue with their battles against cancer, arthritis, and HIV. I caught up with them and learned the challenges that are involved in preparing to face the mountain. Fitness trainer Andrea Metcalf, Shanna Ross, and cancer survivor Becky Pope. Ladies, I'm completely blown away by this ambition. Shanna, how do you even put together a, a, a trip like this? This is not just a walk in the woods. This isn't just a hike. I mean, this is this is serious. This is serious, and I would like to mention that our average ages are 52, so we're not exactly you know young chicks going out to do this. Well, I, listen, I love the I love the shirts. Obviously, climb like a girl, which yes. is a great inspiration. But I mean, you really have to know what the limitations are of, of each member of your group, right? We look at this climb as kind of a metaphor for life. Uh, you prepare the best you can, but there are always going to be things come up. There are always going to be challenges presented that we're not sure what those are, and we just have to get over them. So we are prepared physically, we are prepared mentally, and whatever comes, comes. And we just have to get over it, put one foot in front of the other, and keep going up that mountain. And Becky, being a cancer survivor, I mean, you know, obviously, you've had to deal with a lot of challenges and a lot of struggles. What would then encourage you to put another obstacle, a huge obstacle, in your path? Well, I just don't want cancer to define my life. Yeah. And so it's the challenge of being able to do this and to overcome it. And I think it's just going to give me more inspiration to continue to fight this fight and hopefully encourage others who are along the journey as well. Yeah, had you ever had the goal of climbing a mountain or was this was cancer? Was that really the catalyst? For, for, for sparking that. It was really the catalyst because this is to raise awareness for ovarian cancer mm -hmm. and so that's why I took on the challenge. And then it, it, after the climb you're going to be undergoing surgery, correct? Correct. Surgery and then more chemotherapy. Physically, Andrea, you've got to be able to bring it because this is this is no day at the beach. No, this is about five to six hours of walking a day. So really getting your feet in shape and okay. getting into those hiking boots is truly important. Not to mention that we'll have some 35 pounds on our backs. So posture and core muscles are a big part of this. And there's really not a great way to train other than those specific areas because what really knocks people out of this game is the altitude sickness. So we're preparing with some medical assistance mm -hmm. and then we're also, you know, going to grin and bear it, come down if we need to, if we start to feel that headache, because this is about truly mental strength, physical strength, and inspiring people to say, I can do it, I can overcome this, there is no mountain in my way. You've got sticks in hand, but I'm assuming that you need a little bit more than just a couple of sticks to get up and down Kilimanjaro. Dan, let's get geared up. All right. Okay, when you said geared up, I mean, this... This, yeah, backside shot. This is, this is geared up. This is heavy. How heavy is this? Well, it's about 35 pounds and, you know, I still have to add a little bit of water to it so that I can be hydrated along the yes. way. Because you're going to be living out of this thing for how long? Six days. Six, Six days. days. Yeah. So everything you've got to sustain yourself has got to fit in this pack. Right. Well, I think what's really important to understand is that we're going from 70 degree weather up to minus 20, D minus possibly Baby. 40 degrees. Wow. Oh. Now, are you going to be able to talk? Are you going to be able to call anyone back at home, give you updates? <laughs> You're laughing like, listen, no one. <laughs> We're having to rely on this, but yeah, this, so. this, this, this little device will also allow us to update Twitter and Facebook for all of our fans. So we will be in touch, kind of. You're going to be updating on Facebook and Twitter, as you've been saying. But Becky, I'm, I'm guessing, though, that maybe this time of almost isolation is going to offer some therapy, some time for reflection. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Try to get my head together and think about what's coming next and really prepare for the next day, too. Shanna, Becky, Sorry. Andrea, thank you guys so much. Obviously, the best of luck to all of you. We know you're going to come back with a huge success story, but if people want more information, is there a website they can go to to track the progress? Yes, there is. It's www.wechoosetoclimb.com.